Good morning, everyone. David Paul speaking, the Managing Director of Vector Vest here in the UK. And uh, I'm going to have a look at the uh, overall UK market, which is having a, a really great time of it, uh, and then have a look at some stocks that I think are, are worthy of your consideration. So uh, this is the UK Composite, the Vector Vest UK Composite uh, over the last year. Um, and uh, it's a equally weighted index of all 2000 uh, plus shares that we follow in the UK. Uh, as you can see, and as you all know from your portfolio statements, last year wasn't the best of years. Uh, uh, you can see the red and the green triangles on the chart. Clearly the uh, green is when the market uh, is uh, rising and uh, we've been rising now since the 5th of November last year. Uh, the uh, market, uh, and the, U the UK market and the US market have, have actually charted a, a rising low and uh, in technical analysis, that's the most positive thing that we've seen on uh, the UK market and the US market since about November, uh, 2021. So as we go into the trading day today, uh, the uh, uh, short-term trend right through to the longest term measure of the trend on VectorVest on both sides of the pond, uh, is uh, positive for buying stocks. Uh, now down below the price action uh, of the Vectorvest Composite, I've got two Vectorvest proprietary metrics, the buy-sell ratio, which is our measure of the breadth of the market, the number of shares on the buy divided by the number of shares on sell, and uh, the proprietary market timing indicator itself. Uh, now, as you can see, the price is rising but on my uh, uh, diagram, on my chart, I've shown that the uh, buy-sell ratio and the MTI have stalled. Now that divergence is only uh, measured over a couple of weeks. It's not that significant. Nevertheless, in the short term, these markets are being stretched on the upside. Uh, I still think that there's more to go. And uh, if we were to break uh, out of this inside pattern that's been trading during the course of this week, and we may have done that today, then we can see another quite uh, a nice little move in the upside. But just be warned, folks, that we are uh, stretched here and we could be very close to a short-term top. Uh, so caution uh, is advised. Uh, however, there's some great buying opportunities around. Uh, I have a position in line, Trust Asset Management, uh, those of you that know me will know that I can't resist these bull flag patterns. Uh, Land Trust Asset Management was the very, very first share that I bought after uh, the COVID sell-off way back in March, uh, April 2020. And it ran beautifully. And then I got out of it at about £21 and it's fallen right back here uh, over the last uh, year or so. But uh, I didn't get in here. But as you can see, it rose uh, and it rose on rising volume, always a good sign and that pull back and falling volume. So I have a position in the share as it broke out of that uh, bull flag. And I'm reasonably happy with that position. Uh, uh, it's going the right way. Uh, it's going the right way. So that, that's looking OK. Plus had a very good week. I spoke about plus last week when I was on here uh, and uh, it was granted access to another territory in the world to uh, sell its uh, spread betting and uh, stockbroking services. So th that looks to me as if it wants to break that uh, 50, that what three year high. And uh, uh, based on the pattern, there's a huge target on that share. So that looks great. Uh, uh, UK Wind, Green Court UK Wind, uh, clearly uh, as a bond proxy, it took a bit of a hiding during uh, the previous Prime Minister's first, first and last budget statement, but moving up quite nicely now and looks as if it wants to break to an all time high. As you can see, growing earnings very strongly over that period of what, uh, nearly three years, uh, significantly undervalued by VectorVest and uh, looks uh, very good. Also pays a, a really cracking dividend as well. Uh, now Games Workshop I spoke about two weeks ago, it still hasn't broken out of that little ascending uh, triangular pattern. I bought into the share uh, and as you can see, that's the green signal. 
That green signal comes from the general market, folks, and that's the general market turning up. And you can see how well our Games Workshop follows the general market. 70% of the exercise is the general market, and uh, that was a, a quite an easy buy into Games Workshop somewhere down around here. Added to it, I'm, I'm thinking of adding to it again. Uh, so I haven't done uh, anything. It needs to break out of that ascending triangle for me. Watch as a Switzerland. Uh, that's since the stock was listed, and uh, uh, I go through this every Monday afternoon with the VectorVest uh, subscribers in our Q&A meeting, but it pulled back over the last year of the bear market uh, to a 62% retracement of the, of the big range, uh, and that's a number that Fibonacci uh, players like a lot. It, uh, it uh, Trade, it uh, charted a double bottom there, and now it's made a rising bottom with the market, and it's on a buy recommendation on VectorVest. So uh, that looks worthy of a consideration. I have a, a position in it. And uh, Hostile World, I spoke about Hostile World last week. Uh, it uh, broke very nicely out of that uh, uh, ascending triangle. Uh, and uh, it looks, uh, it's coiling at the moment, i.e. going into inside days, and it looks as if there's more legs in that stock. Uh, as I say, I bought into that uh, last week sometime. So all of the positions that uh, I've got here uh, today, I, I'm, I'm holding myself, uh, but I have to make it very clear. Uh, the FCA asked me to say that uh, although the shares are suitable for me, they may not be suitable for you. Uh, so that said, folks, that's all that I've got. Uh, uh, I still think that the uh, overall markets uh, in uh, the UK and the US are stretched on the upside. Uh, the whole world is debating as to whether uh, what we've seen since last November uh, is a rally in a bear market or is it the start of the new bull market? Uh, certainly the bond market is arguing very strongly uh, with yield curve inversion uh, that uh, we're far from out of the woods as yet. So I think we need to be careful. Uh, I think that you could consider taking partial profits in stocks that you own, getting your stop losses up, pulling your stop losses up behind you to protect profits. Uh, but uh, markets looking better than they've looked since November 2021. Thanks very much.